Hello. <laughs> Dang, why was I so forceful with hello? Let's talk about... Mm, that is not what I was trying to talk about. Let's talk about some art guy. Okay, anyway. Smart Guy is an American sitcom television series centering on the exploit child of ty child prodigy T.J. Henderson, who was played by Taj Maori, who moves from uh, being an elementary school student in the fourth grade to a high school student in the 10th grade, attending the same school as his two elder sisters, siblings, Yvette and Marcus. Yvette was done played by... Um, uh, Essence Atkins and Marcus was played by Jason Weaver, who was uh, the Lion King, <laughs> the little Lion King. Oh, I just can't wait to be king. Anyway, created by Danny Callis, who this person is. He has written for these programs, and you may look them up on your own time. The series ran for three seasons on the WB from March 26, 97, when I was getting ready to be three to May 16, 99, when I was getting ready to be five. Uh, the series was produced by Dip House Entertainment and Danny Callis Productions Child in association with Walt Disney Television. In an interview in September 2020, Mallory confirmed that a revival of the show was in the works because every show has to be revived, child. We don't want it. Said in Washington, D.C., the show centers on the misadventures of a boy genius and youngest child, T.J. Henderson, played by Already Told You, Taj Mallory, who at the age of 10 moves from elementary school and gets transferred to Piedmont High School child, where he ends up becoming a high school freshman with teenagers as his classmates. He must adjust to the life with older but not necessarily, not necessarily wiser high school teenagers including his brother Marcus, played by Jason Weaver, honey. No one's saying do that. No one's saying be, be still. No one's saying stop that. No one's saying see here. Whatever he said, y'all. And Marcus's best friend, Mo, who was played by Omar Gooden, who was the, the best gooding out of the family, honey, that we, we love and cherish. Episodes typically deal with TJ's missteps of trying to fit in as a kid genial while being a small kid in high school, as well as the contrast between his smarts and his brother's underachieving nature. Older brother Mark Henderson, the sophomore suave and underachieving middle child, also deals with teenage problems, such as finding a date and doing homework, although he sometimes gets, uh, tries to get TJ to do his homework for him, and everybody would know. Their father, Floyd Henderson, played by John Marshall Jones, him right here with these, these I don't know what's going on with these glasses. And he got rhinestones, rhinestones and sparkles. And, and he is the spokesperson for, for Pizza Hut, even though I thought that was Craig. That Craig, man, was it Craig Davis? Whatever. A widow, single father. Because one thing about a Disney Channel show, honey, there cannot be two parents in the home. Who owns his own roofing business, deals with the problems of raising three kids, Yvette, Marcus, and TJ. Since his wife's death, Floyd's only daughter and Marcus's, Marcus and TJ's older sister, Yvette, who was played by the legendary Essence Atkins, who has done grown to be a beautiful woman that God designed her to be, like Whitney Houston said about um, her daughter, usually is the level-headed member of the family, similar to Flo Floyd in that respect, and is the typical overachieving student, but not more overachieving than TJ. Episodes. You can look right here. You can look right here. Characters. T.J. Henderson, the lead character played by Taj Maori, as I already have told you twice. T.J. Henderson, whose full first middle name was not revealed, his name is just T.J. and that's what it is. Some people just got initials for names. Is the youngest child in his family portrayed um, as 10 to 11 years old in seasons one and two and 12 in season three. As the show, I mean, they could have just said he was 10 when it started and 12 when it went. As the show's title suggests, TJ exhibits exceptional intelligence with an IQ of 180. He knows several different languages and has a photographic memory. He skipped six grades from fourth to 10th grade, which doesn't make much sense to me because you already knew this boy was a genius. So why you put him in the fourth grade at the time he was supposed to be in the fourth grade to begin with, but whatever. 
due to his intelligence after his teachers at his old school discovered that TJ was not feeling challenged enough by fourth grade curriculum. I've been there, honey. Outside the occasional moments of awkward awkwardness that are bound to occur when a child interacts with high schoolers, TJ has a peaceable, peaceable, excuse me, existence in the school and is eager to be involved in school functions, so much so that he becomes the mascot for his school's basketball team, Pugnacious Pete, the powerful Piedmont Penguin, and that is a funny time in history. Seeing that little boy flounder, flounder around in that pink, whatever, child which leads to some abusive bullying. TJ is later promoted to being the equipment manager for the Piedmont High Penguins basketball team. He spends a fair amount of time at, at school with his older brother Marcus and his brother's best friend Mo Tibbs. Although, although they have some tense moments, the two brothers who share a bedroom throughout the series care for each other deeply. Though TJ spends much of his time around teenagers, he is occasionally seen spending time with kids his own age, which occasionally results in his attempts to try to fit in with them in situations where he feels out of place. TJ plays keyboard for Marcus's band Macadonius, Macado Macadocious <laughs> in several episodes. After one of the group's other members breaks his finger in an accident, he also, also briefly served as the band, served as the band's manager in season three, episode Achy Breaky Heart. Cause you know they had to let um let Jason sing down, child. You can't have a singing, singing heifer, boy heifer, <laughs> and um not have them sing on the show. That's crazy. Marcus Henderson, who was played by Jason Weaver, is the character of uh, uh, is the character Marcus Henderson. The, the character Marcus Henderson is TJ's older brother. Ooh, I'm struggling in the second oldest child in the Henderson family, but behind Sister Yvette, he is fairly popular, uh, a fa fairly popular student at Piedmont High and re re reacts remarkably. Wow. Wow. Let's start it over. Let's take it from the top. Five, six, seven. He is a fairly popular student at Piedmont High and reacts remarkably well to his younger brother sharing nearly every one of his classes, although tensions do arise from time to time. This is, this is especially true in the pilot episode to the point where he tells TJ that he wishes that his younger brother would disappear from his life. The drama. He gets average or below average grades simply because he does not apply himself. He is a forward on his uh, school's basketball team and has several love interests throughout the run of the show, none of which are seen for more than one episode. He is also the lead vocalist for the band, which he created, Macadocious, in which his best friend Mo is the bassist and TJ is the keyboard est. All right. Natasha Yvette is played by Essence Atkins, child, who is generally referred to by her middle name. She's the older sister of Marcus and TJ and the only daughter of Floyd Henderson that we know of. She's in the 11th grade in season one and graduates high school at the end of season three. Yvette is intelligent and usually level-headed. Uh, she is a woman's rights activist and has a passion for art, including drama, photography, and dancing. She is also the editor of the school paper, The Penguin, a position that is the partial basis of Stop the Presses, in which TJ decides to start his own new newspaper, The Weekly Varietas, which he abruptly switches from hard news to tabloid publication upon the advice of Marcus and Mo due to flagging sales. After he becomes dissatisfied with repeatedly assigned, uh, dissatisfied with repeatedly assigned by Yvette, after he becomes dissatisfied with repeatedly assigned by Yvette to write Puff Thesis. Maybe I'm stupid. Yvette sometimes finds it hard being the only girl in the family full of mostly men, as seen in the season two episode, Men Working Badly. Episodes in which her character dates a fellow Piedmont high, stu high student feature. Wait now. Episodes in which her character dates a fellow Piedmont high, stu high student feature, Yvette, sometimes overthinking the relationship, such as when she dated a dim-witted swimmer whom she had mainly a physical attraction to in the episode Big Picture, or when the high school senior Yvette dated a sophomore in the episode TA or not TA. In the season one episode, The Code, excuse me, it is revealed that she has a fake ID 
that says she is 28 years old and she's up to some scandal. After being rejected from Princeton University, Yvette planned to stay in Washington, D.C. and attend Georgetown as the series ends. I don't know why they had to put that girl through. She could have went to Princeton. Doggone it. Although the character of Yvette is in her late teens, Essence Atkins, born February 7, 19, uh, 1972, uh, and therefore being in her mid-20s <laughs> during the run of the season, is actually only 10 years younger than John Marshall, Marshall Jones, who plays her character's father, Floyd, which is wild because they ain't got no castle. Okay. He looks so much older than her, or seems so I'm, I'm not, not even looks really, but he seems so much older than our good sister, honey, Essence. We know Morris uh, Mo Tibbs, child, who was played by the goodest Gooding. The character of Mo Tibbs is Marcus's best friend. He is typically, typically portrayed in the show as being dim-witted, child, such as confusing a rasher with a haberdasher with some uh, some signs of gullibility to the point where in the episode I was a teenage sports wife, TJ makes Mo a part of a placebo experiment by giving him a sugar-filled pill capsule that TJ claims will stimulate synapses in the brain, therefore increasing intelligence in order to better perform on tests, only for more to inform other students about the pills and drown in TJ with offers for the brain pills. Wild. Despite his heavy and muscular build, Mo is usually depicted as a friendly person. The pilot episode, however, depicts him as being almost a rival to Marcus in a few scenes, particularly in one in which he gets into a fight with Marcus over their classmate Mariah, who was played by Venus de Milo child, <laughs> Thomas. Um, <laughs> they named that girl Venus de Milo. <laughs> Because I'm thinking about, <laughs> I'm thinking about Vera from In Living Color, <laughs> who was played by um, the mask. It was the mask name, Jim Carrey, honey. Vera, <laughs> whom they are both romantically interested in, resulting in TJ stepping into the altercation to, to defend Marcus. Mo is discovered to be an excellent chief, due to the tutelage of Yvette who helped him learn how to cook after Mo signed up for cooking class on the spur of the moment simply because the class was cooking bacon at the time. He plays the bass guitar. I was going to say the bass, but it's the bass guitar in Marx's band. We already talked about that child, and he is a semi-talented barber. Floyd is off, often annoyed with Mo's antics, such as his constantly eating from their fridge like Maxine Shaw attorney at law, and even once having slept in TJ's bed, having done so as a part of a plan to help TJ sneak out to see a friend at an arcade after being reprimanded and effectively grounded by Floyd over his choice of clothing, which child, let that boy express himself, he's 10. Despite this, Floyd seems to genuinely care about Mo and is seen in the episode Diary of a Mad School Girl uh, shares with him a passion for barbecue, child. We love a good barbecue. Mo all but lives at the Henderson house and dislikes eating at his own house, having once chipped a, cho a tooth while eating oatmeal cooked by his mother, child, as he notes in the opening scene of Get a Job. In the season three episode, That's My Mama, Mo accidentally, Mo accidentally overhears the conversation between his parents, Del, Del Roy and Verla May, that they had adopted him as a baby. This leads to him having a falling out with his parents and Marcus and TJ helping him find his birth mother, who is revealed to be a fortune teller in Delaware, Delaware named Sheila X. A recurring catchphrase throughout this season is Hello There. Reoccurring. Nina Walsh, played by uh, Tinsley Grimes, who is, you can read that right there, is Nina, one of your best friends and seen with her most of the time. However, she's only seen during the third season. If, uh, if it had done, had a bunch of friends. She works at the store in the mall in the episode Get a Job, and she was forced to follow Black people because her boss, Miss Hendra, explained that African Americans who were in the store were still. She is deep and poetic and drools over handsome men, as we all do. Dion Lamont White, Lamont White, played by R.V. Lowe Jr., the second of the R.V. Lowe's, is a teenager who attends Piedmont High 
His usual hijinks include taking pictures of Marcus and Mo and selling them to a company for profit, which is weird to me. In the season episode, My Two Dads, and scamming Marcus and Mo into selling health bars and a pyramid scheme in which he involves every other student in the school to sell them as we as well as well. In the season two episode, uh, Goodbye, Mr. Chimps. Among other things, Marcus refers to him as a little shrimp. Uh, in the season two episode, The Dating Game, Dion has a crush, more like an obsession on Yvette, as we all probably did. Asks her out to the school dance, which Yvette rejects repeatedly and prompts her to go out to go with TJ's plan to make Dion think that she is dating Mo. Y'all can read the rest of it. <laughs> Child, Kyla Pratt was there, honey. Nakia Burris was there. Dan Florek, so many good people out there. Y'all can read this on your own time, child. We are running long. Um, here's the production information, child. Here it is. Taj Mowry and Omar Gooding are the only main cast members that did not appear in every episode, which again is unusual. I don't know why I say it again like I said that the first time, but I was thinking it. It's unusual for the lead actor for a television series to not appear in all episodes. He didn't appear in season three episode, get a, a job, and Omar did not appear. Oh, God, in a little knowledge. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it was taped here in Hollywood. The establishing shot of the fictional Piedmont School later appeared on another Washington, D.C. based series, Corey in the House, for the Disney Channel child, and also as the establishing shot for John Adams High on the ABC series, Boy Meets World. So everybody had done went to the same school. The main settings are the, the Henderson House and Piedmont High School. You can read more about these things uh, in, the, in, in, in the meantime, in your own meantime. The theme song and the opening sequence sequences. Uh, you can read about these things when you have the time. The entire series, except for the episode Don't Do That Thing to You, is available to stream on Disney Plus as of its launch date of November 12, 2019. And here are the awards and nominations. Moving along. That's it. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me, child, on TV Tuesday, Thursday, TV Thursday. <laughs> and uh, we'll be back, child, next week with something. Not my background leaking, honey. What even is? Oh, that's my my art, child. It's a, who cares? Anyway, girl, I will call y'all back next week. Peace. <laughs>